Signing these five players will definitely take his achieves to the next level. Hello and welcome to Cosination Nation Fan TV. I am Belo, I am your host. This is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a Kosi Football Club. And today we are talking about the five players who can take Chiefs to the next level. The first one, the defensive midfielder. Dun, 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 dun. Not Andile Chali, but Sbong Senim Teto. We have talked, we have talked, everyone has talked about Tuguti. Kaiser Chiefs needs a defensive midfielder. Not just because in that area we are lacking, but also because of what it does when you have a natural defensive midfielder. You have Ustebe increasing its depth in other positions. You have Ustebe starting position here, yeah, keeping further up. Because we know he was signed from Amazulu, not for his defensive abilities, but he was signed because as a midfielder, he was an attacking midfielder, who was supposed to come to Chiefs and do the creative stuff and help the team press from up front but now we're having him defend and he's not actually being utilized in a way that he was supposed to come to chiefs and perform and because of that we saw Guti there was that adjustment that he had to go through we ended up going to the bench because of the fact that he was now playing a different role than the one that he was playing at Amazon so now having a defensive midfielder we saw when Uplom started playing as a defensive midfielder even his performance come out became much better because Umat was now free to go forward. But now the players are always looking back when they're attacking because they don't know how much space they left behind. But bringing Usbong Senim Teto, who's PSL, who's PSL ready and has performed consistently in this season and the previous one, you can bet Uguti is definitely going to make it Chiefs much better. Central attacking midfielder Karim Kimvuit. He's only 21. He's playing for Imaris Spec United. Yes, he doesn't understand the English, but he can be taught, like even Namanju Sahele does not understand English. I'm bringing this issue here English up because even his coach Ufadlu said there is that problem, Yoguti communication between him and Ukim Void is not that great. But right now I know it's after a year he will get better. And also, given Uguti there is Usaile the Chiefs, things will improve and the communication will be much better and he will grow with the team. And also he's just a good player right now. Bonus that will help Chiefs get Ukim Vuiti also is the fact that Imari Spec United, as much as I don't like this, might be getting relegated. And that means it might be easy for Chiefs to go and get that player because they will be desperate for some cash because being relegated will mean they are losing the income that they would have gotten from playing in the league. And hopefully there is a relegation clause somewhere in his contract so that Chiefs can just go and swoop in and get the player for a low, low, low price. <laughs> Player number three, Kanye Samayo. I know, Guti, when I bring up Kanye Samayo, it kind of makes people say, Ish, but is it even possible? Because it's that thing, your Guti, Ish, Yabona, if you think about Kanye Samayo, and Ukeza Mtaung Jun has already come out and said, E, Cape Town City, clearly and said this thing. We are not selling him. We are not selling him. They just said flat out no. So Indavaga Kanye Samayo is a bit tricky. But I do believe, Uguti, everyone has a price in this transfer market. If you pay the money, you will get the player that you want. He's only 24. And it's one of those moves that the Chiefs just needs to say, you know what? We're just going to come out and pay the money. Because knowing Uguti is the son of Patrick Mayo, who, will, who would have advised the son to, hey, listen, go play for Chiefs. And I know Uguti Chiefs see, is not a big draw right now, given Sundowns' dominance. But he knows which is not going to play with Sundowns, right? He's going to be on the bench. And as much as he might favor himself, he won't be the first player who has favored himself and gone to Sundowns and failed. So if Chiefs were willing really to sign this player, he would be willing to come to Chiefs. So Chiefs should just pay the money. This is one player they should break the bank for. Because he can play across the front three. We need a striker right now, desperately. And he can... Be that striker, he can play as a right winger, he can play as a left winger. So having a player who's going to be versatile and fit across the front three, and not just fit, but will also help us when we are being unpredictable and rotating positions constantly within the game so the teams get confused. I call it Yogut is not playing A Pella, and then we, we don't have plan B. So if Ichivs really wants to break the bank, this is one player that Ichivs should definitely go out for and Hey, 
Speaking of paying, I would like to give a special member shout out, Regina Mukwena. Thank you so much for being part of the members club. You can also become a member by clicking the link on the description below. It's only 20 rands per month and you also get these benefits. And everyone else, please do make sure to like and subscribe to the channel as it helps me to reach more people like you. Number four, Pule Modi, a winger, free and experienced. We failed to sign him last season, 2.5 million. But now he's going to be free end of the season. So there you have it. Go get him. It's free. He's PSL proven. On experience, we have a lot of players who are young and growing and lighting the scene up. But we also need some experience in the team so that there is balance in it. So then go get Pule Modi. He's also going to help your team. If he's starting, he's a good enough starter. If you are bringing him from the bench, it's also going to help the team very much because... He is just quality and we've seen him do it at Arrows consistently throughout the years. Next one, which I think is going to also mean releasing one of the strikers. Forty, not one of the strikers. It will mean releasing Ukeleb. That's what I mean. And I am talking about Ufiston Mayele. Ufiston Mayele were linked with him and then he signed for Younger, extended his contract. But in contract here runs out in 2024, even after the extension. So one year remaining on the contract, I don't see why Chiefs can't go and sign that player. Because if you look at the Chiefs right now, Ukelep was brought on to be that striker who's physical up front, who can bring the other guys into play. But Caleb doesn't do that. If you look at Ufiston Maele, he has the same kind of physique. He's a big man. He has experience in African football. He's been playing with the Young Agui Champions League, played with the Young Agui Kef Confederations Cup. So he knows the scene as well. Uguti, if we fail, which is looking more likely to qualify for EKF or a Champions League, well, EKF Confederations Cup next season, you are still hoping, Uguti, yeah, next season we make our run for the Kef Champions League and then we have players, the squad, that will be gelling together. And then the other year when we do go to play in Africa, then we'll have players who are experienced in that in that stage and then we won't be fumbling and moving around but we'll have players who will be good enough to play in that system so i think he should definitely chief should definitely go for him i would i do think Uguti Iyanga might want a lot of money for him but once again each of we are at that point where we're like this thing of of underpaying and hoping to get quality we clearly see what it doesn't work for us so why continue first things? Just spend money because it's corner and you're renewing my contract with with these sponsors that you have. So just spend the money on the players that you need so that you can strengthen your team. Did I miss out of, on any players which player you disagree with on this list? Let me know down on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, remember, equals. I'll pay you more.